Sure. The family of Alexis Gabe now know how her story ends. It doesn't just feel like I lost the piece of myself. It's more like I lost memories I could have had with you. Alexis went missing last January 26th. On Saturday, almost a year to the date, the family marked the occasion with her memorial in Oakley, where they live. I want to say to you right now that nothing, not death or passing of time, will ever change how much love I have for you. Alexis's mother, Rowena, shared memories of her daughter. The family also took time to thank the hundreds of volunteers who helped search for Alexis. This community has searched, prayed, grieved, and now celebrated our lives with us, and I can't thank you enough. In June, Oakley police announced that Alexis was killed by her ex-boyfriend, Marshall Jones. The Gay family later learned that Jones allegedly cut up her body and tried to dispose of the remains. I pray to God to give me strength to bear your absence. This may be a memorial for Alexis, but the family says their work continues. Smile, what's the use of crying? Her father, Gwyn, says earlier this week they were notified that parts of her remains may have been found. We're waiting for confirmation. We're hoping that it's, it's her. Come on. Jones was killed by law enforcement while attempting to serve him with an arrest warrant. But the Gay family says they're preparing a lawsuit against his mother for allegedly aiding and abetting. And I'll help keep your name in everyone's minds. And I'll make sure you're not forgotten. The family says there can never be closure when losing a daughter. Losing my daughter is, uh, you know, it's really hard. So there's no closure for this. And we still need justice. And we will continue, continue the search. In Oakley, Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News. Thank you.